rising, grand rising, beautiful rising, divine rising. How are you guys doing? So, as you guys can see, I'm actually about to go out. So I'm about to go get some new plant babies. I am very, very excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, which is what I told you guys in the last clip. Um, yesterday I didn't vlog just because like I really did consider that like my weekend day. Like it was one of the few days out of the week that I did not work at all. So I honestly just like hung out in bed, rested. I did like an exfoliation treatment on my face. I had like a little mini spa day. Um, so yeah, so now I'm about to go plant shopping. I'm going to take you guys with me and let's see what we find. Something I am really happy about is this morning I actually took the time to give Emilio kind of like a bath. Like I wiped down his leaves because um, this is a burgundy ficus tree, a rubber tree, and they really prefer humidity. So whenever he gets rained on, I'll show you a leaf. He gets like this film on his leaves and I didn't do all of them. I just did like what I had the energy to do. So yeah, that's a new leaf coming in. Oh yeah, and some of the, the little buds I was pointing out earlier this week are now like turning into leaves. But um, yeah, so he looks really happy and healthy and uh, shiny. I got a bunch of babies. Let me see if I can show you guys. Ooh, no, I can't. There's one in the back, if you can see it. Um, yeah, so I got a bunch of new plants. I just let them speak to me. So I never like to go in like, oh, I'm gonna get such and such plant. Oh my God, I thought that was sweat. <laughs> it's hot out here. Um, I never like to go in saying, oh, I'm gonna get this specific plant. I like to let them speak to me. And then I get the one that's like really calling out to me. Um, sorry if you guys are moving around. Jeez. Lord. All right, yeah. So a couple of them were speaking to me. Actually, one of the snake plants that I got, you guys are gonna see. I was telling you how like the snake plants at this um, plant nursery are huge, and they were still there. The snake plants that I saw like three or four months ago were still there, and they were even bigger. And I got one of them. So I'm excited to give you guys like a little plant haul when I get home. And I'm also excited for Vernon to see them. Um, I wish I could have went with him, but man, like his schedule is just crazy. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and tell you guys up front, I got in Alocasia two snake plants. One of them I bought and one of them she gave as a gift because I was telling her I was going to come back eventually and get a smaller one. So she just gave it to me as a gift. Oh, I love this plant place. Um, I got a pothos plant, which I really, really wanted one. And then I got two coffee plants, which I thought would look really cute in our bathroom. But what I really like about this plant place is the energy is freaking amazing and it's not even like oh like super positive everybody's just happy happy it's like real like the lady who works there like she just pours love into her plants into her animals like there's like birds and cats and like it's not just plants there because she just takes care of so much stuff she's somebody who really takes the time to pour love into everything that she does and it's like you can tell oh crap I probably could have went that is a cute ass jeep but yeah you can tell because like seriously her pant her plants flourish like under her care and she grows everything from like it being a baby so it's all the plants that you guys saw in there that were like huge she grew them from like little baby to like big baby like my snake plant oh geez <laughs> my snake plant is like three or two or three years old that she's been growing this plant for two or three years and I finally purchased it so I try not to get too many like really mature plants because I want to have the satisfaction of like raising a plant baby myself but um yeah she just pours love into everything and that's why I feel my plant is so healthy because it came from her granted I've purchased plants from like Home Depot before um, my bird's nest fern that's on my kitchen table that you guys see in the background sometimes um, Vernon got that for me from Home Depot about a year ago and that plant does not grow like I water it every day it just stays stagnant I don't know what to do she told me to bring it to her next time I come like just bring it to her and she'll help me with it but um, that 
plant versus my rubber plant. My rubber plant is consistently growing. Right now I have seven new leaves right now. And that came from her. So that's why I love shopping with her. Her husband's so nice, they're just amazing. I'm gonna leave their, their own business address in the description box if you're in Jacksonville. And she also has a bunch of like fiddle, fiddle figs or whatever, whatever they called fiddle leaf figs something like that um which is like a really popular ficus that's from um africa right now she had like seven of those <laughs> and they're all like 50 dollars or less so check them out if you're in jacks and you need a plant spot all righty so here's a look at the gang y'all okay so i told you how when i go shopping for plants i like to just let them speak to me i tell you that is exactly what I wanted. It's actually better than what I was hoping for, and this is exactly what I wanted as well. So this is a pothos plant, and what I really like about this is just like the shape of the leaves. They're so cute. They look like little hearts, and I want it like a really full, kind of like, like a potted pothos. I don't know how to describe it, but like a little like bouquet um but i really like plants that grow straight up and have like the little bamboo stick in it and this has um it's like pothos is gonna go grow straight up so like seriously i'm so happy with this this is definitely like a few years old um and seriously so freaking healthy look at that one leaf came off when i was driving home and i'm kind of sad about it so this leaf came off but that was the only, um, I guess you could say, fallen soldier. <laughs> Alrighty, so the next one that I have is an alocasia. And I showed you guys the African mask alocasia that I honestly truly want. I don't want that one though because it doesn't look as healthy as I want it to. But when I saw this, I was like, yo, this is seriously, like look at this leaf. It's just so cute. It's so pretty and unique and like mysterious and I'm gonna have to give this one, I'm pretty sure this is a she, I'm gonna have to give her a really like sexy, mysterious name. Then I got this huge ass snake plant. D, this is so big, let me see, like, that thing is at least four feet tall. Oh my God, <laughs> at least. And um, so this is probably gonna go in our bedroom because it doesn't require a lot of light. And as you guys can see, our bedroom is like not that light. Um, so I really like these because they don't require a lot of like maintenance. You just water them a few times and they're good. Like they're kind of self-sustaining plants. And then like I said, she threw in this small snake plant, which is like a, it's like the golden the golden ring snake plant, I think is what it's gonna, be, what it's called. This might go somewhere like in the, the kitchen or something, I'm not really sure yet. And then I got these little baby coffee plants. Now these grow to be like actual trees. So for now, which one's my favorite? <laughs> That's probably really bad. But this is the one I saw first. The leaves are so glossy and pretty. And these, um, I'm just gonna put in the bathroom for now for Vernon and I. I wanted to get him something green too. And then when it gets too big, I'll move it somewhere else. So um, with my plants, at least the last, I have like two plants. <laughs> I have two plants that are doing good. Um, so the last plant, he preferred to be outside, but these plants all can stay inside, which I'm happy about because I need some greenery in here. Like it's looking a little, I don't know, I need some life in here in my house. So I'm going to go grocery shopping now. I had to come home and like drop the plants off before I could go back to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping for the next few days. And then probably I'm gonna stop at Target for like um, some planters so I can make them pretty and nice. And I'm not gonna name them quite yet. I'm gonna spend some time with them um, to see like the feelings that they give me and who they are. I feel like I named my ficus, my rubber plant, a little too early because <laughs> now I can think of like so many different names that suit him um, that I didn't know before because I didn't really know the plant. So I'm just gonna take my time with these, but I'm, I'm very happy right now. Mm. I wish this was like, oh, I'm just gonna get on my knees. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of tired though. It's like really hot outside. It's October and it's like 85 degrees which is Florida for you. 
but um, I'm gonna make some potato fries real quick. <laughs> Vernon always thinks it's weird that I call them potato fries because fries are potatoes, but it's like, you know, fries you make from potatoes, like home fries, I don't know. Um, which I know all fries are made from potatoes, but you get what I mean, homemade fries. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make something to eat and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping, but I was in that plant shop for literally like an hour and a half and when i first got there they actually weren't there and i was really sad i was like yo like something about them is like they really kind of like you know go with the flow um sometimes they'll be there i don't know it's like you kind of have to catch them when you catch them at least for me the past few times i've been going they haven't been there um so i was like really sad and so i sat in my car for 15 minutes and i started looking at other spots to go to but nobody pours love into their plants like this spot does and like after 15 minutes of me like waiting that i found a spot i was going to go to that's like five miles away then they pulled up and i was like oh thank you jesus thank you thank you so much because <laughs> i really wanted to get my plants today but yeah um i'll see you guys tomorrow once i come home from grocery shopping i'm probably just going to eat edit a little bit and then go to bed and uh, I'll talk to you, oh crap, today's Wednesday. <laughs> today's Wednesday, so that means I actually might have a little uh, private Q&A for my coaching students if anybody has a question. So I gotta go check my computer, but I'll see you guys later, bye. Grand Rise loves, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful today. I'm feeling powerful and magnanimous and divine and loving and peaceful. Um, and maybe it's these plants. <laughs> but yeah, so um, today I am working. Today is a work day. So it's 2 p.m. now. I'm going to edit until 5. Then I need to go pick up a package from my P.O. box. And then I need to go grocery shopping because I didn't do it last night. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly where I placed all my plants and where they're most likely going to be living um, in the house. Alrighty, so this is where I put my pothos plant. Um, I think it's gonna look really cute. Like if it gets any bigger, it's gonna look really cute against this wall here. On this side, like near my patio, is where the snake plant's gonna go because snake plants really, like they like bright light. This snake plant was actually growing like right under the sun, but they can tolerate like lower light. So I'm gonna keep it here because it's like my less fussy plant and I've always wanted a plant on this wall. So this is like, where my dining table is and then like where the island is. So I think that's gonna look really cute and like a modern type um, planter. This is where my um, calathea, this isn't a calathea, what is this? Alocasia, there we go. This is where my alocasia is gonna go and I don't know exactly what type of species this is. So if you guys know, please let me know. But I'm gonna put like a nice round pot and I wanted this to be as close to the window as possible. I don't want to have to put this outside because it really does like like light and humidity. Um, it was actually growing at the plant store near where the rubber plants are, which my rubber plant is on the patio right now, um, and it's thriving. So I may have to put it on the patio, but hopefully I don't because I really want to see them. <laughs> And then over here is my snake plant. I'm gonna get a cute little table and keep it in the corner of our bedroom. And snake plants help to clean the air, so they're really good plants for the bedroom, which is why I wanted to have at least one in here with us. And this is just a suitcase that I haven't unpacked from like two weeks ago. <laughs> and then lastly, until I get some cute like maybe coffee cups or just really, really cute baby planters. This is where the coffee plants are gonna go in the bathroom. I might end up putting them against the tub. I'll show you guys the tub. I might end up putting them here. Um, one, cause it's closer to the sun and also just cause there's really no space on my bathroom vanity right now. Um, so yeah. Um, when I edit, I try to make it as like comfortable as possible. So, You'll see that I have my window open. This is the last vlog that I just edited. And it's so sad when you have to like delete it out the workspace. Like you work so hard on it um, with all the color correcting and the music and the editing. And then you just have to get rid of it to make space. And it makes me so sad. <laughs> but over here, I just have my essential oil diffuser going to bring, it's like lemongrass scented and it smells real good. I got some tea, some light, cause editing is not my favorite thing in the world. So I try to make it my favorite thing and I'm about to play some music. So my favorite thing to listen to is Control by SZA. 
whenever I'm working. It's like good background music. So yeah, I'm about to edit. Hopefully get a vlog up for you guys, um, like the present you guys. <laughs> Maybe today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow though. And uh, I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, hello, hello. <laughs> um, why is this so, there we go, yeah. So I'm going to get an underarm wax. I would show y'all, but just trust me when I say I really, really, really need it. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything today but creating content, editing, uploading. Um, so it's been a pretty chill, productive day and I'm excited for this little moment of self-care. My plants look so cute. They look so cute. I haven't named any of them yet. I don't know if I told you guys I'm waiting. Um, but I think, I don't know, I haven't named them yet. But anyway, I wanted to just come on here and show you the results. So <laughs> this is why I prefer to get my underarms waxed because if you're somebody who like struggles with like dark underarms or like speckles of hair or like ingrown hair or like whenever you shave it hurts because shaves actually like make micro cuts on your skin. I recommend just getting them waxed because it saves a lot of um, pain like I guess what I'm trying to say is it saves a lot of stress for your skin and I have noticed personally that by waxing I have been able to eliminate almost all darkness underneath my underarms. I don't get waxed often, <laughs> hence why <laughs> there is so much going on under there. Um, but I mean I could. I could get waxed like maybe every month-ish, you know, and everything would be all good. Um, but I just prefer, I just notice the less I do with my skin, the better it is. So I only really like wax when I feel the need to. I don't know. I'm not very consistent with waxing because I just don't really care that much, like honestly. My hair, it grows in like kind of like the hair on my head. Like it's kind of fine. It's kind of soft. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, so, you know, whatever. And I'm just a hairy person. So I just accept it and, you know, I just roll with it. But um, if you're someone who like you have to be hairless all the time, waxing is way better than shaving. Because like I said, shaving will cause micro tears and like that just breeds for infection and dark marks because your skin's trying to like repair itself and like pain and ingrown hairs. And it's just like, uh. so I've been doing I've been getting my underarms waxed probably for like maybe two years ish now and I only shave in emergencies like if I cannot get to my waxer I probably shaved my underarms maybe like less than five times in the past two years <sighs> but uh I have essentially I told you guys I've just been working today I'm just gonna go back and finish working Vernon is home so he's in Jacksonville but he's not home because he had duty today which is just like Arr. <laughs> So he had to stay on the ship and he has watched tonight, I think at like 10 p.m., which sucks because I'm going to be there to pick him up at 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, so he's probably going to be tired again. But yeah, you guys will see him in the morning and I'll probably end the vlog tomorrow. So I actually have some Pocky G's. I have one, two packages and I'm going to open them with you guys. I should have got my box cutter. Why didn't I get my box cutter? I got scissors. <laughs> All right. Back like I never left, honey. Okay, this is like really dangerous. <laughs> I I am a, I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm clumsy. <laughs> I'm a clumsy person. I don't know what it is. I just, you know, I break things a lot. I walk into things. I cut myself on things, you know, I have to be really careful when I'm handling stuff like this. Oh my gosh, this is, this just made me really happy, wow. That is like beautifully packed. Okay, so this is a package from, <laughs> from Moisture Love. There we go. And, ah! oh my God. It has a handwritten note from the CEO. I don't know if you guys can see this. I love handwritten notes. I keep them all. Hi Kenya, thanks for patiently accepting our products. Our formulas have been updated to better infuse hydration into every strand so you can experience true moisture that lasts. Amen, that is my pinnacle of everything I try. Enjoy the process of giving your curls, hashtag 
a higher love is that what it is a higher love with moisture love janelle the ceo okay okay i'm excited all right so let's open this oh, this is so sweet i thought i'd get to take a picture of this where's my phone where's my phone give me love let's open it together all righty oh they really tied this well there we go oh oh and i could like really wear this in something some type of hair thing it feels so good to be able to like <laughs> do this so if you guys notice i've been wearing those off the shoulder tops all week and it's because one i don't own t-shirts like it's so hot in florida that when i went summer shopping i just bought a bunch of tank tops i have like i don't know a couple of t-shirts but not enough so like my go-to when I need a wax is like those off the shoulder tops and nobody ever knows. You guys probably didn't even know. How do I open this? That's another thing. I'm really bad at opening things. Vernon gets so mad because the cereal bags, I cut them open and he's like, don't do that. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't open them any other way. But okay, oh gosh, this is so pretty. So inside there's purple gift wrap this is really nice like i'm actually really 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 excited about this now okay so there's their gentle embrace hydration shampoo um it's plant-based sulfate free and it cleanses and hydrates without stripping this is what it looks like uh you know let's see if it focuses there we go oh i see you camera um there's soy protein in here hydrolyzed soy protein hydrolyzed soy protein which helps it to actually like penetrate into your hair strand um the ingredients actually look pretty good for a shampoo so i feel like this probably is really moisturizing um i don't see anything in here that would dry my hair out so excited to try next oh i'm going in order okay so this is their deep indulgence replenishing conditioner with propriety hydrolure technology mm. Okay, it has mesmerizing slip that soothes the scalp, reduces breakage, and stimulates growth. Don't you guys think like the product descriptions for our products are so delectable? Vernon and I were having a conversation about this um, really quick. The ingredients are completely natural, it looks like. Wow, baobab seed protein, lavender flower, rosemary leaf extract, really good. Hmm. So this is a conditioner. Yeah, this is a conditioner for detangling, I see. Yeah, we were having a conversation and he was saying like guys' products are so boring compared to women's products. Like women, we get silky, neroli rose and boys get like shower fresh. <laughs> and that's their sin. He was saying how he like was jealous of like how, I don't know how fancy girl stuff can be. Girl stuff, you know, just how it's marketed. Okay, the Now and Forever Leave-In Conditioning Serum. I like that it's called a serum because that way I definitely know it's gonna be lightweight and I can tell already that it's lightweight. Um, Long-lasting moisture memory, what? Wow, I like that. I really like how they describe all their products. So you apply supremely moisturized hair for days. Y'all better come through with these, uh, these promises because I'm gonna definitely test it out. So again, the ingredients are amazing. I'll show you guys. You, pro you probably would do better like to go on their website and look. Yeah, yeah. those are the ingredients if you can see them. Um, they do have a deep conditioner. Oh, it's just kidding. This is a style cream. I'm over here lying. <laughs> um, it says it imparts moisture retention for all hair textures. It has beet sugar extract, cocoa butter, ooh, shea butter. Uh, it might not be too bad. Aloe vera juice. This may not be my jam, but you know, when it gets colder, maybe it could be. Let's see how thick it is. Oh, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. No, not that bad at all. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can tell, let me hide. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a creamy, yeah, yeah. This is not like super buttery or anything. Okay. This smells really good. And it's, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it because as I'm like touching it, I feel like it's like dissipating and not, it smells good as hell. We shall see. Maybe I'll do a video on it. We'll see. Um, 
Then the last thing we have here is the Seal with the Kiss oil. They just gave me like enough oil for two years. <laughs> Seriously, that is a lot of oil. Oh my gosh, that's so much oil. Um, it has an infusion of marshmallow and horsetail leaf into a proprietary blend of avocado, argan, macadamia, castor, and rice bran oils. I like that. Um, all oils that I like marshmallow especially i really like that so that's what i got from moisture love and we shall see i'm not gonna lie after testing this out i'm not really the feel of it isn't as smooth as i would like so i would have to but that would i don't know i just i don't really like the feel of it but of course i couldn't really know until i tested it out but let's test the leave-in conditioner to see if that feels a little bit better maybe that moisturizer feels better on top of something. And maybe that's why it wasn't giving me like the, I don't know, not slip, smoothness I was looking for. Let's see, does this have like a cap on it or anything? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, alrighty. Ooh. All right, so this is like super milky, if you guys can tell. Like really, really milky, really lightweight. That's a perfectly good box. Let me try to recycle this. Over here, wasting, being wasteful. Waste not, want not. Wow, this is, I like this. This is very lightweight. Like, <laughs> that thing is gone. But it's still creamy and it doesn't go away. Okay, yeah, I think the moisturizer might apply better on top of something. So, we'll see. Whew smells are very strong they're not bad they're just hella strong and my pattern beauty stuff is already like strong every time i take my bonnet down i can like re-smell all of my products from pattern beauty and it smells like a salon it's so weird that it's like um if you guys haven't seen my review of pattern beauty already i'll go ahead and link it here but it's so weird that it's like um salon products for curly hair it's like i don't know it seems weird because <laughs> we don't really have a lot of that um, so when I smell my hair and it smells like a salon, I'm like, wow. <laughs> All right, so this next one is from Sacred Crowns. And this is someone that I really, I enjoy following her on Instagram because she creates, one, she is like in tune, you know what I mean? She's in tune with the universe. She is a beautiful soul. And I like that she actually creates crowns like you can buy crowns off of her website um like with stones in them and it's really really cool i think she even has a crown where like it like covers your third eye like it'll have like a stone that drops down and covers your third eye so it's like really unique i like i really like her so this is what she sent me and oh she sent me a crystal oh my gosh Oh my gosh. I'm kind of sad that I waited. Well, I didn't really wait that long. I got this yesterday. <laughs> but I would have opened it immediately if I knew there was a crystal in it. Oh my God. And you could like put this on a necklace. Yo, this, okay. It's a rose quartz. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, and it has like holes in it. It's obviously something. Oh, she probably uses this when she's creating the crowns. It's a crystal that you could... I'm gonna make this into a necklace. Should I do like a, a bracelet? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank the Lord that quartz is strong. Okay, I didn't break it. I told you guys I'm clumsy. I dropped a lot of stuff. I've dropped a lot of crystals on this floor. Nothing has shattered or broken yet, but okay, so um I honestly think I would just do this as a, a necklace. I love, I love it. Okay, that was a wonderful surprise. This is her, sacredcrowns.com is her website. Alrighty, and she also included some sage. I told y'all, man, I told y'all. Okay, so what I'm most excited about from her is this rose aloe jelly. It's an organic herbal gel that's ideal for twisting and what does that say, styling. It has aloe vera, vitamin E, A, C, and sunflower seed oil and rose seed oil. Smells pretty clean. 
and it actually reminds me of my favorite gel, which is probably not a good thing. The IC Fantasia Aloe Vera Gel. That's like one of my favorite gels. It's a very soft gel. You can't really put gel in your hair, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, mm, like it. It's not sticky. It's not too thick. It emulsifies down well. I like this. I'm not very picky with gels. So my thing is like, I know my hair, my hair gets frizzy. Like my hair likes to get frizzy and I like for my hair to get frizzy. So like what I look for in a gel is just moisturizing, has slip, layers well on top of things and gives me shine for like the first two days. And like maybe like, you know, some extra holds for like mm, a day or two or three. But I live in Florida, the humidity is super high and the only way to really black out humidity is to use a silicone based serum and I'm not into that because it's gonna block out the moisture that I'm going to put on it later throughout the week. So I'm very like not picky with gels at all. Like I got this definition without gel. So we'll see how this works. Oh, but you can use it for twisting. I do like gel in my twist when I wear like long-term twists. Hmm, okay, cool. Then I have this Black Aloe No Poo. It's a organic shampoo that you can use for your body and your hair with grapeseed oil, aloe, shea butter, Haitian black castor oil, raw apple cider vinegar, tea tree, and herbal oil blend, and Moroccan oil. So let's just get the smell of this. I like it. I like it a lot. It smells very natural, but I like it. Yeah, I love when stuff smells natural. You know, you know, like people are like, oh, I hate the smell of apple cider vinegar. I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't know. I never, I mean, I don't know. It's just diluted and you're good. Like, you know, amazing aloe weave in. Pretty much the same ingredients as a lot of the other things. Rose essential oil blend. Now the leave-in, that is important. I am very picky about leave-ins because you know, that's basically what my hair lives off of, leave-in. So let's see, this one's more creamy. Ooh, it's heavy, ooh, like it, like it, like it. At least so far, I like it. I have to test it. I like the feel of it though. I feel like you can tell a lot from consistency of products. So this is something that I would try. I save my hair a lot of bad wash days, like if I test the consistency of something and I don't like how it feels on my hand, I don't put it in my hair because that's just a lot of work. It, like if it starts to crumble or like it doesn't like um, that cream, how it wasn't smooth at first. And I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. That would be something that I would be kind of cautious of putting on my hair. Like when I do that, I'll probably do it like in a section first just to see how my hair likes it. But um, testing, testing your, <laughs> testing what? Testing products out will save you a lot of time. But um, I'm going to go relax. It's literally 8.30 at night and I have to wake up and go get Vernon from the base. Uh, and I get up at like, I, I don't use alarms. I like to wake up when my body wakes up. So whenever I have to pick Vernon up from the boat and I have to use an alarm, it's a struggle and a half. So I'm going to go. I will see you guys tomorrow when you guys will also see Vernon. And uh, yeah, bye. This is kind of cool. This is cool. A wild beast in the world. She goes around into the jungle, searching for her prey. Which plant will it be? Yeah. Yeah. Is that or is that like what it's supposed to have? Is that a part of the fertilizer? Chocolate covered popcorn. There you go. Mute that. <laughs> <laughs> Milk covered chocolate is all I said. <laughs> I was like, right. I was, I was like, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have blueberries. 
Why are you feeling me being all? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are about to wrap it up for the night. We're watching Columbiana, having a nice little movie night in. Vernon is cleaning the kitchen. He actually cooked dinner. <laughs> Why is he over here with a gun? I had to get my gun out of the car. Oh man. my gosh. Now. Yeah. But yeah, so Vernon actually cooked dinner tonight and we did get a new plant. And Vernon picked this out. Vernon, you all over this log tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Where did that <laughs> but yeah, so this is the plant that we ended up getting. It's really pretty. I feel like it looks better in like non-yellow light. Yeah, that looks way better. Um, it's a creeping purple heart plant. And um, I'm actually over here attempting to grow another version of that. Uh, we'll see if that works out. But yeah, Vernon picked this out. He said it looks pretty, so we got it. And we're gonna hang it eventually when we figure out how to hang it, probably Damn. right there. Funny story, she told me that she was like going to the flower shop and stuff like that when I was at sea. First thing I thought, she's going on a flower spree. <laughs> yeah, so I asked him, I said, how much do you think it costs? all these uh, plants that I bought. And he was like, $500. And I was like, oh my God, no. Ain't, ain't no lie, neither. I was like, damn, bro. We about to have a jungle in this mother. Yeah, yeah, because you know, when I like something, I can, I can go hard for it, so. And he knows that. Obviously, I bought like eight plants in the past four days. <laughs> yeah. Hello from the future. <laughs> Actually, it's the present, because I'm filming this on the day that I'm uploading this vlog, so. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I actually wanted to just show you really, really quickly um, the Sabrina Tradescantia, the purple creeping heart plant that I propagated. So when you guys saw it in that last clip, it was like um, a little baby and let me show you what it looks like now. So this is what that baby plant grew up to be. Um, it's been sitting here in my office for the past, I guess it's been like maybe two months. Um, cause I got this on October 4th and it's currently November 24th, I think. Um, so yeah, it's been like a month and a half or so. <laughs> um, but look how much it grew and actually that plant, um, that we got has also grew a lot as well. But yeah, I'm just like so proud. <laughs> I can grow things <laughs> that's how I feel like with these plants I'm just proving myself wrong for the years that I'm just putting this back on the window seal because I don't want it to get hurt for the years that I was basically like copping out and saying oh I can't grow anything and I just really hadn't committed myself to it um yeah and really quick I also have an African mask plant now <laughs> his name is Javier I call him Javi for short so I'm about to add this footage into the vlog and upload it, but I just want to say I really appreciate you guys like, I don't know, learning about my hobbies as I get into them. I am a serial hobbyist. I am still into planners, if you can see this here. And I actually have a planner channel. I just haven't been like posting because I took a little break from planning. Um, but I like planners. I like nail polish. I like hair. I like plants. I like vegan cooking. Like I like a lot of different things. So I'm really appreciative <laughs> that you guys are also interested in learning about stuff besides hair. Um, leave a comment down below of anything you want to see in future videos, anything you want to learn more about as far as my hobbies go. And also let me know how your Sunday is going. But okay, I'll see you guys in the next clip. But all right, we're going to go to bed now and watch the movie. Come yes. say bye, Vernon. Good night, y'all. Good night. Right, we'll see y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.